This is our quiz too. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give you some idea what's going to be on the quiz tomorrow. However, let's go over what we have discussed in the class today. I ask you to construct a displacement versus time graph based on the fact that Mr. Barry dropped a ball, an object from 80 meter above the ground. So, let's uh, construct it. Displacement has to be in uh, meter and the time has to be in second. So, 4 second, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. All right. So, the graph must come from the table. So, let us create the table. No table, no graph. So, you have a time and you have a displacement of course. So, at 0 second, the object fall, ok. So, Mr. Barry, of course, is, um, is 80 meter above the ground. So, Mr. Barry is here. He drop an object and it eventually land on the ground, ok. Good. So, the distance that the displacement is going to be based on uh, velocity initial t plus half a t square. We know a is negative 10. So, you are going to put that. We know the initial velocity when you drop something initial velocity is of course, 0. So, we are going to write 0 over here. So, this is the equation. This equation is going to give us the displacement as the ball approach to the ground. Okay? So, this is going to be 0. Of course, since you are doing it from 80 meter above the ground, you have to add 80 to the displacement. So, displacement plus 80. So, 0 plus 80, which is 80 of course. So, this one would be uh, 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4. We need 5 point. Okay, now, notice that the 1 second, if you put 1 over here, then what do you get? You get negative 5. How you get negative 5? So, this is half, this is negative 10 and this is 1 square. So, you get negative 5. So, negative 5. And then if you put 2 over here, then you get of course, negative 20. If you put a 3 over there, you get of course, negative 45. If you put 4 over there, you get of course, 80. Now, do not forget to add them. So, negative 5 plus 80, so which is 75, negative 20 plus 80, which is 60, negative 45 plus 80, which is 35 and negative 80 plus 80, which is 0. So, we have 5 point. So, let us quickly write those point. We have 0 comma 80. We have 1 comma 75. We have 2 comma 60. We have 3 comma 35. And then we have 4 comma 0, 4 comma 0. So, this is our point. Now, let us do graph it. So, 0 comma 80. So, 0 comma 80. Make sure your point is visible. 1 comma 75. So, 1 go to 75 right here, right over here. 2 comma 60. 2 comma go to 60. 3 comma 35, 3, 30, 35 and 4 comma 0. Okay, now, we are going to connect them. So, to connect them, we will use our understanding of quadratic equation to connect them. Now, as I told you, you have to, this is 2D, you have to make it 1D. The first point is over here. 
the second point is over here. The third point is over here. The fourth point is over here. And the fifth point is over here. Now you're gonna, of course, put the arrow to show the direction and magnitude. The direction is same, but magnitude, this magnitude is three times as big as this one. This magnitude is five times as big as this one. And this magnitude is seven times as big as this one. Okay, so what does that mean? The object increases every successive second every successive second object covers distance quadratically d is equal to half a t square okay and that is d small displacement big displacement bigger displacement and big displacement Every successive second, object cover more and more distance according to the rules of quadratic equation. You y equal to or d equal to half a t square. Excellent. Now, what I want you to do is the velocity versus time graph. That's what I want you to do. So, velocity versus time graph, of course, you need the point. Without the point, you cannot have that. So, let's do that. D versus time. You have one, you have two, you have three, and you have four. You have negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, and negative 40. Now you probably think those point, where those point come from, or well, let's take a look. This is t, and this is the velocity, zero, and this is zero, how? Velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus a t. And A is the constant, you know A. What is it? Negative 10. Initial velocity is zero, just like the other one, initial velocity is zero. All right, so what is our equation? Vf is equal to gt. Now, if the time is zero, then velocity is negative 10 and then zero, so zero. If the time is one second, then you put one over here and you get negative 10. If time is 2 second, you put 2 over here, negative 20. 3 second, negative 30. 4 second, negative 40. All right, simple. Okay, now, point number 1, 0, 0, and 4, comma, negative 40. So let me connect them. All right, now area, area under VT graph is of course a displacement, so let's do that. All right, so this is the area under VT graph. This is the area, this is the area, this is the area under VT graph. So this is the area, so you're gonna call it area since this is a triangle, we know the area of triangle half BH. So area is equal to half, what is B? B is four second, so four. And what is H? Negative four, oh, four second, make sure we write four second. And negative four, 40 meter per second. Second, second cancel. So what is it? Area is two goes to four twice. So two times negative 40 negative 80. What else left? Meter. Negative 80 meter. It seems like negative 80, it seems like you got negative 80 by magic. So when you are on the top, when you are on the top, you look down, that is negative with respect to the reference plane right here. All right. So, you're gonna call it the displacement. And is it really negative 80? It is negative 80.
good. Okay. Now we're going to do acceleration versus time graph. Okay. So acceleration versus time graph. Finally, um, again, we're going to be doing the acceleration versus time graph also in fourth quadrant. So acceleration versus time graph. And we know our acceleration and that is negative 10 of course. Now we are going to do it 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second. All right. Now this is a negative 10. We need only that is it. That is all we need. However, we also need the table. Without the table you cannot do anything. So, time and acceleration. A 0 second, what is the acceleration? Negative 10. 1, negative 10. 2, negative 10. 3, negative 10. 4, negative 10. That means acceleration remain constant. At once, a 0 second, acceleration is negative 10. Acceleration due to gravity, by the way. 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, and 4 second. You connect them this is the graph for acceleration. So, this is the dt graph, this is the vt graph, this is the at graph. The slope of dt graph is the velocity, the slope of velocity is the acceleration. Second degree polynomial, first degree polynomial, constant, that is it. Now, I am going to use the TA84 to show you how it can be done with TA84. So, here is our TA84. First thing we are going to turn it on and then we are going to clear everything and then we are going to go to the stat and then enter and then we are going to clear the table. Clear the table, clear the next table. Okay. So, now the thing we are going to put we're going to draw a displacement versus time graph. To do that, what we have to do? We have to enter the data, time and the displacement. So, 0, 1, 2 second, 3 second, and 4 second. Okay, we are done with putting the time. Now, we're going to put the displacement after adding it to 80 because we are dropping the ball, ball 80 meter above the ground. So, remember is 80 and then 75 and then of course uh, 60 and then 35 and then 0. And now, you are going to go back to the second, make sure it is on, okay? make sure it is on and then you have to go to window, you are going to be up to, you are going to have to adjust it. So, negative 1 I think is fine, so what does that mean? So, the graph going to look like this, graph going to look like this. So, then your x mean, let us say x mean is negative 1. So, negative 1. Your x max, your x max, this one is 4. So, x max is 5 is good. So, we are talking about the domain. So, 5 is good. Your y mean, y mean is negative, negative 1 is fine, negative 1 is fine. However, your y max is, this is 80. So, 80 is good or 80, 81 is good. I am going to just put 82. Okay, that is it. Now, you are just going to graph it. So, this is the graph. Okay. So, to do the VT graph, what are you going to do? You are going to clear everything, of course. We are going to go to the stat, enter, we are going to clear, uh, clear the table. Uh, this, not this, this table, this table is fine, you are going to clear the other table. Uh, now, is velocity, of course, velocity as you remember is uh, 0, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30 and negative 40. Okay, now, remember is in the fourth quadrant, okay. So, we have to make sure that we go to the window and we have to make sure we adjust that. So, x mean is negative 1. So, negative 1 not going to bother us. So, we are going to leave it like that. x max 4, so is 5, does not bother us. y mean, y mean is negative 1. 
So y mean is, this is negative 40. So you want to have at least negative 40. So I'm going to put negative uh, 42, okay? And, um, and y max, I'm going to put one, y max, just one. All right, and that's, for, that's it. Now I'm going to graph it. And now you see the graph. Now we're going to do the acceleration versus time graph. So we're going to clean it up. We're going to go stat. Of course, we're not going to erase the first table. First table is fine. We're going to erase the second table because acceleration is constant negative 10, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. We're going to do it up to five times 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 10. Okay, now remember this is acceleration versus time graph. So this one the range, this is negative 10. We have to do it accordingly, go to the window, uh, go to the, I'm sorry, I went to, by mistake. So go to the window and x mean is negative one, doesn't bother us. Uh, x max is five, doesn't bother us. Uh, y mean is negative 42, yeah, bother us, because y mean has to be negative 10. So I'm gonna put negative 12 y max is 1, y max is 1, that's fine, that's fine. So I'm going to graph it. And this is the graph for AT graph. Okay, now let's talk about tomorrow's quiz for a few seconds. I'll probably ask you to do uh, 1D motion. Um, let's draw something. This is quiz. We're discussing on quiz 2. So let's say this is x, Mr. Berry moves. This is, let's say, put some um, 1, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, uh, 60, and then, I don't know, 70, and then this is x. So Mr. Berry start from this direction, and he turn around, and he come back over here, all right? Um, and it, take, it takes him 20 seconds, all right? Time is 20 seconds. What I want I'm gonna ask you tomorrow is find the distance, find the speed, find the displacement, and find the velocity. Pause this video and try to do it by yourself and then and then verify your answer with mine. So the distance is of course 70 meter plus 10, 20, 30 meter. So the distance cover is 100 meter. The speed is, of course, the total distance, distance over total time. So total distance is 100 meter, total time is 20 second. So this one is five meter per second. So now let's do this one, displacement. Displacement is the distance from beginning to end. So this is end and this is beginning. So beginning to end is 10, 20, 30, 40. It's only 40 meter and that's it. Velocity is 40 meter over 20 second. So that's 2 meter per second. Make sure you mention the direction. Direction is to the east. All right.